You are being remade. You're having trauma removed from you. You're having unbelief removed from you. You're having doubt being removed from you. You are actually doing what Trisha saw. You Go ahead, Aaron. You are becoming a new, sharp, threshing instrument. Uh, and the kingdom of God is within you. And God's kingdom people are the key and the force in this world. And the forceful, that's what the scripture really says, the forceful take it by force. I could go through scripture after scripture with this, but that's for y'all to do. And see, but that's what's going on with us. We're being remade. We're a better weapon than we even know. And this is how God sees us. I, I like this in the Message Bible. I'm transforming you from a worm to herald. In other words, think of a drill that made the tunnel, uh, Hudson, the tunnels going into New York. That's what he's making us into. I'm, I, you're, I'm shifting your identity from worm to harrow. And you'll smooth out mountains. Those things that tried to stop you in the past, watch you jumping up and down on top of it and them crumbling before you. And those tough old hills, you're, you're getting them broken up so they can be fertilized again. You'll open the rough ground to the weather, the blasts of the sun, the wind, the rain. But you'll be confident and exuberant and expansive. Now, that's the word for us. I'm expanding you. This is one of those expansive meetings. That means your spirit is growing in you. You're being increased whether you know it or not. Fear not. I'm increasing you in a way that wherever you go and whatever you do, I will be seen through you. Now put your hand on somebody next to you and say, I like this expansion that's going on. Now, this is what this is what is happening with time. See, time, this is the entire era of time. And in this, we are moving and stitching each year with the next year. Now, we have just moved over into this place right here. This is Feast of Tabernacles. So when you hit Feast of Tabernacles, you start stitching to the next year. It's not something that ends Everything you've been going through now is stitched in to God's prophetic timeline of this season. Now, this is, in other words, divine recovery and you becoming that new sharp threshing instrument is now being stitched into and that path you've been on now is got, has gotten you up to your door of promise. But the real war in this era is over your door of promise. And this is, it's a gate, it's a door. I noticed on Jeopardy this past week, one category was famous gates. And uh, it just really key to understand This is a year we have to understand our entry point and move forward. So lots of doors are in your promise, but God's getting us up to the gate to go through those. Now, that's Pedalit. It's the year of going through the gate, entering the door of your future, ascending through the portal, and warring to secure your promise. You can't take the warring component out 
in this, in, in this decade. Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Whoever is for the Lord, come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered together to him. In other words, there will be clarion calls this year that will create new types of gatherings. And every time we gather, it pushes us up through the door. Now, with that, I, 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 Trisha did something this week. She sent me a word I had given two years ago. See, there is some sort of divine watchman anointing in this region for America. So this new intercessory watchman call is now coming to you. It's, it's, we're called to enforce Holy Spirit's plan in the earth realm. And therefore, we've got to take this call and use it in a way we've never used it before. You have to speak it in time. Now, with it, because, see, this era is about the voice, how you use the voice in this supernatural, mystical atmosphere to contend for the authority and the rule of your field. So see, I'm, I'm putting this together for us. When you speak and what you speak, the whole era is like an Esther moment. Right place, right time, what you say. And you can't just be talking all the time about what God's trying to do, you're going to be at the right place at the right time, and you're going to say it, and it's going to start activating when you say it. 